Okay, Indigo Moon Aussies. And today is Friday the 30th. We're having a little pool party out here, having some hot temps. And this is the something to talk about litter. That looks like holler, half in, half out. That's Whisper. Guys, the pool's over here. <laughs> no, that wasn't holler. That was wrapper. Come on, get in, guys. Whisper. Whisper. Come on, Daddy's going to put you in. Pool party, kids. Pool party. There's holler. There's Rafi. Come on, Rafi. You're a big, tough boy. Good job, Rafi. Rafi is sold. Whisper is staying with us. Rapper and Holler. Um, still not happy with anybody that's contacted me on those boys. Now they're running. Guys, go in the pool. That's Holler right in front of me right there. They now are set up so they have an inside outside run. It's this area here and on the inside there and that is the dog room. It's air conditioned and has a fan so they can come in and out. They're doing great. In fact, their first night there was no potting inside. We have a crate set up and they did not potty inside the room area at all. They did all their business outside. Somebody's making an issue. Get it before they stomp in it. So let's see, that's Holler running by the ladder. <laughs> He's shaking himself off. Holler! Hey, big boy. He stepped in it. It's on his foot. Say, we're puppies. We get ishy. We do. There's Rafi. Come on, Rafi. Rafi! Rafi! They still love to come out to Playland, though. We still bring them out here. It's been like, today it's 93, so the last few days, they haven't had it right now, as you can see. It, we've got some shade, but when we lost this tree, it was just devastating because it, that tree kept Playland shaded 90% of the day. And so they got to come out here like all the time I would bring them out here. But we've had unseasonably warm weather, and we were lucky to find a, a pool. We have pools, but they've they've all got they've cr ended up cracking them. All the different puppies and the big dogs. Whisper. Let's see who that is. Now that was Rafi that just went after Holler. Whispers coming in from behind. Rafi's pretty agreeable. Boy, Holler's really strutting his stuff today. Holler's a pretty easy-going pup. Whisper is usually the instigator. Whisper, what are you digging for? Come on, guys. You can get in that pool. You're bigger puppies. That's Holler on the left and Rafi on the right. Rafi is spoken for. He's going to Tennessee with an earlier litter mate, Reba, out of the Avatar litter. And as I've mentioned, this is the third cross between Rico and Beyonce, and it's the final cross. Beyonce is going to be spayed. She's six and a half, and she's had given us three beautiful, just awesome litters. And so she'll still be our resident mama, but we're going to go ahead and spay her. There's Whisper playing with a ball. That's Rapper. They've all got really good movement. They're nice and dirty. They'll get another bath. Well, this weekend, and unfortunately this week, which we really wanted to do some good stacking photos and do baths again, my husband has not gotten home till like 10, 30, 11 o'clock at night. I have a teenage son, forget about it. And there's no way that I can obviously stack. 
and take pictures. Whisper. Or, that's Holler. Holler. Now I'm surprised at you. I don't know. Holler must really like the water because it sure set a fire to him. Rafi, come on. You're the brave one. Come on, Rafi. Get in that water. <laughs> They're so funny when they go through their little... That, who we're watching, that's Rapper. Now, when they were first born, Holler was very, he was the smallest one, and you cannot really tell a difference between him and Rafi and Rapper. They, they're basically the same size. And, Whisper, you go in. Come on, Whisper. We originally were going to keep a male and we were going to keep Rapper, but we just felt like Whisper had just too many attributes. And since we know that this cross will never be again, and, and these puppies have all, they've just done amazing. We have ASCA champions, uh, Major Point at AKC, some have their CGC, we have some that are doing great in herding, agility, um, a couple that are in training for fly ball, obedience. I mean, they really, for as gorgeous of puppies as they are and having some really strong show lines, they are definitely, definitely good instincts, good working. Did you get something stuck on your foot? Did you get something stuck on your foot? Now that's Oh, we missed it. That was rapper's I'm too sexy look. And we're they're eating more food than nursing now. We're Beyonce's not with them at night anymore. And they're doing great on their food. She still plays with them and spends time with them, but more playing and correcting them, teaching them social manners. Also, Grandpa Sonny just loves them, and they love him. Gypsy has been with them. Gypsy loves him. She really wants to play. She's really cute. Hey, Whisper. Rafi, look at how beautiful you are. Look at that face. Yes, are you my boy, Rafi? Are you my boy? Are you my boy, Rafi? You are, I know. Holler made an issue, Daddy. Get it before they go stomping through it. They all just have, we are so blessed for, but just really, their structure, their bone, their balance, just their heads are just stunning. I love Rafi's, he's got that ticking, the little freckles, and he looks so much like his sister, you know, same um, sire and dam, but just a different time, a different litter, but he looks so much like Reba, it's just like they were, huh, Rafi, am I talking to you? You know it, you know it, yes. That's Whisper right there, the one we're keeping, the one female. And that right there is Rapper. We're wanting, we'd like to see him in a show home, but you know, we do place good homes ahead. Holler would do good. Definitely, I would like to see Holler in a home with at least one other dog because he's really social. Look at him tipping his head. Holler, you're just adorable. Look at that. Oh, I'm keeping you. Never mind. They all, they all, you know, I say I love this one. I love that one. But, but really, you know, if you've read our web website and Beyonce's blog, these really are special little babies. And they each have something. <laughs> Look at Holler trying to get out. They each have something very unique and distinct about their personalities.
Rafi, which he's um, right there, he was one of the first ones to really watch us very alert. Uh, I, I've, I've said this before, I can see him doing service work, people oriented, definitely. All, I would say all the puppies are uh, people oriented, which is what we like. That's Holler again. And that was Rapper that just jumped over him. Now Rapper is a more dominant male. Holler is a little bit more submissive. He's not really, I mean, he'll hold his own, don't get me wrong. And, and we saw earlier, you know, he was being a little bit of trouble. But for the most part, he's easy going. Now, Rafi was one of the first ones to pay attention, to uh, acknowledge us as soon as we walked in the room, to watch what we were doing, to know where the food is kept, like know the sound of me getting the food ready. So Rafi is just, he's got that little bit of smart. Holler is just the cutest thing that God ever created. Uh, and especially full of straw and mud. That's Whisper, his sister next to him. Careful that doesn't poke you in the eye. Let's see these two rowdy boys. Ra and Rafi, yeah, Rafi's a spoil. He does not like the heat. So to Anna and family, Rafi wants a fan. He, he, as you can see, he's got a lot of coat. Now these are summer puppies, and they, I'm telling you, they have a lot of coat. And Rafi has beautiful coat, beautiful neck, beautiful head. There's Rafi right there, and he will, when he gets a little warm, he'll cry. Go in the pool, Rafi. And then that right there, scratching. That's wrapper. And, you know, I have had inquiries. I've talked to some different people, but I just, I don't know. What? Come here, Rafi. Come here by mom. Come here. Come here. Good boy. See, Rafi already will come to me. I know you're hot. Tell daddy put you in the pool and cool off. Look at, oh my gosh. See how smart that puppy is? I kid you not. That is how smart Rafi is. He, he is just, there's just something, you know, not that the other puppies are a bunch of dummies. I don't want it to sound like that. But there's just something. Now, they've had baths before. And, you know, they're typical puppies. They'll tolerate it, but they don't necessarily are, you know, say, hey, can I have a bath tonight? There's our holler. We still call him our little boy because holler was little when he was born and we really kept an eye out on him. I've never had a puppy that I was very successful at bottle feeding. Most of them just do not take to the bottle. And so we would, you know, we normally, if we had, like for example, Beyonce was the smallest in her litter. And so I would just every two hours or every hour, I would go in, move the other puppies away and make sure that she got the fullest teat so that she, was fed and I have a, a, a very nice electronic baby infant scale, a really, really good one. So I watch their weight, especially the first week and the first few days. I weigh them several times to make sure. Anyways, Holler loved when we fed him. My husband and I both fed him in our bed up against us and he was the first puppy uh, what I would do with other puppies if I wanted to supplement and I, I use goat's milk that's that's what I use um, the goat's milk if you compare it to the actual puppy replacement and my vet and several other breeders have validated this for me the goat's milk actually has a lot more nutrients and is uh, more easily digested and so calorie calorie for calorie it's just a better supplement so we've switched to goat's milk but I've had to like use a syringe to if I needed to supplement for whatever reason. But not with Holler. He loved, didn't he, Daddy? He loved the bottle. He loved being held and fed like a baby. So yeah, he got babied a lot. But as you can see, now that's Whisper with the stick. But that's Holler. And Rapper was the biggest one. He's a chunker. Rafi's pretty big too. 
pretty much they're pretty much the boys are pretty much equal I mean in size they really are as far as size at maturity you know based on prior litters and the size of the male I'm gonna say they're gonna be about Rico size they're all a little on the shorter back side which is like Rico I mean not a full square but that's one of the things we liked about whisper is she she's got just that little bit of short back She's got really beautiful hocks. That's who we're looking at from behind. Perfect markings. She has got, her head is more, um, com like compared to Gypsy. Gypsy looks a lot like Beyonce, which Beyonce is a beautiful bitch, very correct. But Whisper has a little bit different look, a little more like Rico, only very, as you can see, she is very feminine. And so our intentions were to keep a male a son from this cross but as the days progressed we just now be careful with that guys we just hey rapper we just felt like whisper she just had everything that we've aspired to achieve in in terms of her structure her movement her temperament which is very important especially when you live like us. We live in a regular neighborhood right now. You know, we, we are eventually gonna be moving, but we still have a little ways to go on that. Good girl, Whisper. What a brave girl. Look, she's swimming with her front feet. <laughs> yeah, when uh, we missed it, but as we were bringing the puppies in, Whisper just came and ran and jumped right in. And Rafi's name was Secret. And it, that name did fit him, but Rafi is also for Raphael, which is a guardian angel for those that aren't familiar. What? Yeah, she just went in again. Yeah. It's your turn, big boy. We still call Rapper Big Boy because, again, when they were first born, Rapper was like three times the size of Holler and Rafi was kind of right in the middle, and now they're all pretty even. But we've been excited to have a pool party, but we had to wait. My husband was able to get out early. Rafi, come here, come here, come here. See, he knows his name. You can't see him, but he came right to me. Come here, Rafi boy, come here. He says, I hot, I hot, I hot. Yeah, that's the only time he complains or fusses is when he's hot. He likes to be in the air conditioning. You want to get back in the pool? Come get on. back in the pool, Ruffy. I just love Ruffy's head. I mean, it is just absolutely stunning. And I've had a lot of people tell me with Rapper, he has a thumbprint of black on his head. Uh-oh. Rapper got jealous. He said, do me, Daddy, do me. His movement and structure is, is beautiful, too. And that the thumbprint is that angels left their mark on him. And again, if you've read our blog, if you've read our site, you know that we give um, all the credit to God for the miracle of this litter. I mean, this just is a story that is just amazing. And I look at these guys and I'm just really amazed by God's work and how healthy and wonderful Beyonce is. And it's her last litter, not really so much because of anything to do with the infection, which ha has, has no correlation to these puppies whatsoever. But it, it, we were going to breed her in the fall originally, and that was going to be her last litter. And that's mostly just due to age. Um, I'm, I'm very particular about breeding too young or breeding after a certain age. Now, Whisper's kind of little, so she, there she got in. Whisper, you're a brave girl. And that was one of the other things that swayed us to Whisper is in the situation that we live in, our dogs are all kind of a part of our family. When you start to get several males, you can start to have problems. We don't seem to have problems with our females at this time. We, the females that we have all get along really well that's Whisper right there, right? Yes. Okay, yeah. Now, that's surprising me. 
That was holler. You better hold your own, boy. You're messing with Mr. Tough Stuff. He says, I'm no sissy. And there's Ruff. He, he's, he's playing with the car. Oh, he's got a stick. Careful, Ravi. So they all have unique... I would say that Rapper, he has this very almost elegant, although that kind of sounds feminine, and he's definitely extremely masculine. He's got just this, this very elegant, this very prideful presence, and that's what I like about him. Holler is, to me, just this adorable, he's gorgeous, but he's just got this adorable face and a sweet temperament with people. He, him, you, we can still hold in our arms. Where at this age, most of the puppies, if you you try to hold them for very long, you know they're they are up and down, up and down, up and down. But I think it goes back to, you know, we wanted to make sure that that holler got fed right, and he just took the bottle, and so we fed him. We fed him, and you know, we. If you've watched some of our other videos, you know that we have our, and it's not that we think our ideas or our ways are better than anybody else's, but this is just what we believe. We believe that having puppies sleeping in our room at night, and we, they, they just moved out of our room four nights ago. So they were five weeks and two days, I guess, five, five weeks, something like that. We feel that the bonding of the puppies being in our room with us at night has helped so much with crate training because they're so they get so used to the sound you know the the sound people make in their sleep snoring and we emit carbon monoxide and oxygen and dioxide I should say actually but we just feel that it creates a bonding. As everyone knows, it's a very intimate thing. It's why our babies and our children want to sleep in bed with mom and dad. So it, it, there's something very bonding about it. And we feel that it's been a success for us. So we've continued to use that in our program. And they are now, they are now too big to sleep in our room. They have to be able to have, um, they have a doggy door. And like I said, the very first night, that they were out there. They, they come in the house and play with us, of course, and they come out here to Playland. We don't leave them out here in Playland by themselves at this age because, as you can see, the area is very open and we do have hawks in our area, whereas they're run off the dog room where they can go. The, the way the trees are and the covering there, the, the predators cannot get to them. So unless Beyonce is out here with them, and we do, we'll do a video with her. So man, they're having a great time out here. So the, the very first night that they were in the dog room and we have Shimmer and Gypsy crated in there. Again, we have a huge window air conditioner. It's probably cooler in our dog room than in our house right now. They did not make any potties at all in the inside area. They went outside and that's what they need because that really encourages them. Now that's how, hey, Whisper, they're getting you back for all the times you got them, ha ha. So anyways, they are, they were six weeks yesterday and they're all, as you can see, healthy, beautiful, funny, cute. Uh, very striking in their looks. Each each has different attributes, personalities. Very very different. Very unique. Whisper. One of the things we liked about her is she she's an easy to manage. You know she as you can see she's definitely playful, but she's not over the top. And when you have as many as we have, that is a consideration. If you're taking on one, it's not quite as big of a deal. So we'll be doing more videos, and from what I saw on the weather, unfortunately, I think we're going to be having more pool parties. Indigo Moon Aussies, 
to something to talk about litter. And thank you so much for watching.